In the wake of the ruling that the NSA's bulk data collection of American citizens' communications is unconstitutional, the recommendations are in from the panel that President Obama appointed to review the practices of America's intelligence gathering operations, and they are significant. The 308-page report, titled Liberty and Security in a Changing World, calls for 46 specific reforms to rein in the runaway surveillance state, including significantly limiting the NSA's ability to gather data on both American citizens and non-citizens, limit the reasons for data collection, outlawing the use of data collected on Americans against them in any proceeding, limiting the collection of data to private companies who would only release it to the government under very limited and legally defined circumstances, increasing the civilian oversight of the signals intelligence agencies, limiting the surveillance of foreign leaders, restructuring of the NSA, the creation of a privacy and civil liberties policy official, and a strengthening of the civil liberties oversight body, reforming the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court, which approves surveillance requests to make it more effective and transparent, and revamping the way security clearances are given out, as 1.4 million people now have top secret security clearances. President Obama can make some of the changes through executive order. Others need to go through Congress. He'll give his views in a speech next month. The recommendations also confirm the reports of surveillance journalist Glenn Greenwald based on the documents illegally leaked to him by Edward Snowden, now a fugitive of the U.S. government. President Obama and Congress should enact many, or all, of the deliberately laid out recommendations of this panel, and then turn around and pardon Mr. Snowden because of the vital service he's performed for his country. Snowden has paid a high enough price for his actions by having to flee the United States. The simple truth is that this debate would not have been nearly as robust or timely had Snowden not snuck away with tens of thousands of NSA documents and given them to Greenwald. There was not an adequate whistleblowing avenue for Edward Snowden to have raised these concerns within the existing National Security Agency framework. As an American patriot, he had to do what he did. Just like it will judge President Obama favorably for rolling back many of the oppressive policies of George W. Bush and Dick Cheney, history will ultimately call Edward Snowden a hero for doing his part to try and save an open internet and the privacy of his countrymen and the citizens of the entire world. Thanks for watching. We'll keep following this critically important and fascinating ongoing situation. For The Daily Conversation, I'm Bryce Plank.